Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, December the 22nd, a couple of days before Christmas. You know, we're all eating and and, uh, making ourselves hungrier and hungrier because we're eating a lot of sweets and we're going to talk about that today. Dr. Elizabeth Abe is with us from Columbia Healthy Smiles, a wonderful dentist. Philip uh, couldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So... As we're in the holiday spirit, we wanted to talk a little bit about caring for our mouth and our teeth when we're eating so much. And a lot of times we go to these parties at work, you know, you have office parties and we're eating and then we're not always brushing right away and Mm -hmm. eating some more and going at nighttime and you're eating some more. What does that do to our teeth? Um, Well, just in general, Every time we eat or drink something, our mouth immediately becomes more acidic, um, which is more prone for caries or cavity development. Um, So that's just something to think about at all times of the year. But during the holidays, of course, we eat a lot more sugar. Right. What does sugar specifically do? Why does sugar have the tendency to cause more cavities? Again, it it goes all back to that acidity level. So we like our saliva to keep our mouth at that neutral level. Um, If you hear of pHs that are out there, like a 7 is neutral. Um, But whenever we have sugar, any sweets, it really drops it down to below pH of 5. And anything below that, we're just very prone to developing cavities. So... Our mouth should, the pH level in our mouth, how, how do we know what our pH is? How do we know? I mean, you could buy, you know, saliva testers and test your are, pH, are there people that do that? Are there that, that fanatic? I, I don't know, but I'm sure people do. I, I don't know of anybody who does that, but it does drop Do you it. do it? I do not. Okay. But I've been tempted to, and because it really does affect how it um, affects or demineralizes our enamel. So, so if you, if your pH level drops below mm-hmm. seven, it starts to cause the enamel on the teeth to wear away mm-hmm. or is yep. prone to decay. Yep. Yep. Can we, after we eat, it's a good idea to just go in and take a swoosh of water and rinse your mouth out? Yes, so water is best. Um, Most waters are pH neutral or try to be, but there are a lot of bottled waters that are acidic as well. So that's something to be aware of. So you're saying that if you drink a lot of bottled water, you could be causing cavities? Yes, so some of the, like your Dasani's or those waters that are processed in um, like the same tubing that maybe soda is processed in a lot of those actually have a pH of like three or four and it's lower yeah oh so all these people who are running around where you're 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 with the bottled water now that's not saying bottled water is bad for you in fact I've got some right here right um but you're saying the tap water is much better to rinse your mouth with? Most times, or or of course, there are the expensive bottled waters that say like pH neutral or, you know, um, they'll have a label on it. Um, The the real expensive bottled water. (laughs) The really expensive ones, So just the the, the bottled water that you buy, it has a lower pH level than tap water. Some do, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh All right. Now, see, there's all these things that we have to think about now. What else? Uh What are some of the other common uh, misconceptions that we have? Um, When you think about the holidays. and Yeah. Um, I mean, just sugar intake, your nuts, things like that are the ones that can really cause you to break your teeth. But nuts aren't bad for you, though. Nuts aren't bad for you. They're very healthy. It's good. They're healthy for you. But 
they can, you know, crack teeth, especially the peanut brittle, sticky, oh, yeah. hard. Things. Oh, you get a big old chunk of peanut brittle and you start chomping on it. <laughs> and all at once you hear that crack and you don't know if it's the peanut butter or if it's it, yes. one of your teeth. Yes, or toffee. Yeah. What happened? What would happen? Let's say you take a bite of peanut brittle uh -huh. and you do end up cracking a tooth uh -huh. and it's on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. What do you do at home to take care of that before you can get to the dentist? So it really depends. Of course, if it's not hurting, then that's great um, for you. I would still maybe let your dentist know. Can you actually crack a piece of your tooth off and it not hurt? Yes, it does happen. Yeah. That you crack a tooth and you can't, mm -hmm. and it doesn't hurt at all? Yes, yeah. Is it? In the long run, it's not good. You have to have it repaired, right? Correct, correct. But if it happens over the holidays or on a weekend and yes. you crack a tooth, as long as you don't have pain, just go about your own business. Keep it clean. Um, of course, let your dentist know. Yeah. Um, and they can kind of recommend um, something based on what you know they think or what the situation is. Of course, if it hurts, that's a different story. Then you go to emergency. Yeah. All right. Here's a, now, this might seem like a stupid question, uh, but let's say if you have a crown mm -hmm. and the crown pops out, this does happen mm -hmm. from time to time, can you just go ahead and put it back in there yourself and hope that it stays, or should you save that crown and go to the dentist as soon as you can and have them put it in? So sometimes you can put it in yourself, sometimes you can't. Again, it kind of depends on the situation. Um, if you can put it back in, um, I would do that. And you can even find sometimes at like Walgreens or, you know, drugstore, some sort of temporary cement that can do it. You're kidding me. You can, yes. Okay. If your crown falls out, let's say mm -hmm. if it's a lower crown or an upper crown, you're telling me you can you can go to the, to the drugstore and get some... Yes. Cement? Yes. Is it dental cement? Yes. It's temporary. And temporary. Yeah. Put it you put it on mm -hmm. that post or put it on the crown? Put it on the crown and then you And can, then put it mm -hmm. back in your mouth, mm -hmm. press it down mm -hmm. until you go <laughs> till you have a chance to go to the dentist. Yes. Or some people don't do that and they just put it in. Just be careful you don't swallow it <sighs> or aspirate it, but <laughs> I had no idea that you could do that. Now if you broke a, a part of a permanent tooth and the big mm -hmm. chunk comes out of that tooth you would you try to glue that on yourself too or not so that might be a different story because it might not stay there okay and, and you wouldn't want to accidentally swallow or aspirate it so, okay yeah well well these are different topics that i didn't think we were going to talk about today <laughs> but i'm glad we did <laughs> thank you elizabeth if you have any questions at all the important thing to do here we're at the end of the year go to the dentist after the first of the year if you haven't been for a while and and just get a general appointment for more information the number is 573-875-7071 okay to you and philip right thank you. have yourself a nice day bye-bye